Hi there, it's Sam from Poodlestock.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today and thank you for joining me in Poodle's Advent Countdown. 24 projects coming out to you all the way through and into December. And this is today's project, this one here. And this is actually an envelope punch board that box that holds two jumbo tea lights. Now these are the ones that you can get from Ikea or you can get them in your local supermarket. And I have got mine here, two jumbo ones. Raspberry scented? very scented of some sort and they just fit inside absolutely perfectly like that box closes down bow goes on it and it goes across the top and then the decoration goes on the front and I'm not going to worry about that so I'm going to show you how to make it now you need a piece of cardstock that is six and a half inches by six and a half inches 16 and a half centimeters by 16 and a half centimeters and you need your envelope punch board easy peasy so the first scoring is going to come at two inches, which is five centimetres, and then you slide it along to four and a half inches, which is 11.4, almost 11.5. But if you've got a punch board, you know that the dominant pattern across the top is um, inches and the centimetres is underneath. And then you just keep doing the two and the four and a half all the way around. Just keep going, two, four and a half, two, four and a half, all the way around the box. Oh, nearly forgot one then. Okay, and then before I get rid of this, I'm going to round off the corner. So that's pushing it, putting your corners into the opposite side of the punch. tripod when you move your punch board that out of the way don't need those so I'm going to fold and burnish these score lines okay so when the box closes I need these parts this bit here to stick onto there and there. Okay, so I'm going to cut those. Oops, there's the ribbon. So it's that one and that one. They're going to stick onto there, so the box is going to come round. But these ones, I need these to fold flat. I show you. I need them to fold that way. So. We've cut there and there, but we're actually going to cut the other way on this one. I will stop and show you in a second. Because when it all all closes up, they're going to hinge in like that. So if I just fold it out just for a second, those ones go, the top ones come down towards you, the bottom ones go in. Hopefully that makes sense. It makes sense to me. Okay, so I'm going to put some adhesive on there and there. Got my fast fuse. And then you build it up to form the sides of your box. And that one as well. And then you fold the sides in and that one over the top. So I need to run some adhesive along here as well. Oh, I can't get into it. There we go. So you just line it up and it's often easier if you actually close this part of the box and then you know you're going to get it all lined up. There we go, I'm just going to put my fingers inside. So that actually is your box made. So obviously you put your candles inside. I haven't decorated these ones but there's loads of washi in our catalogue. slide it and close like that. Let's put that one down as well. And then, oh, <laughs> I was cheating with the ribbons there. That's bad, isn't it? Let me slide that one back on and I'm going to pop some onto here. And it's the um, subtle vanilla ribbon. Subtle striped vanilla ribbon, I should say. So.
and that just slips on the top and then obviously we've got this not enormously attractive part there so I'm going to cover that now the actual finished dimensions of the box uh, two and a quarter by two and a quarter by one and a quarter one and three quarters of an inch which is 5.8 by 5.8 by 4.4 centimeters so my little panel that's going to hide the majority of that is two by two inches so five by five centimeters very vanilla and the stamping that I've got well you do the stamping afterwards because I you know, I just wanted to make sure it fitted. And I've taken the cosy Christmas stamp set. I used Magic of the Season before, and it does fit absolutely perfectly on there, as you can see. But this time I'm going to go with this one, and I'm going to show you how to work with the stamp and magic. Um, so have yourself a merry little Christmas. So you need your stamp and magic, which is this part here, and your imaging sheet, which is that part. And you have your stamp mounted on its block, and it doesn't matter whether you use a wood mount stamp set or you use clear mount but you butt your imaging sheet up right into the corner you grab your stamp and your ink to move this lot all out of the way and you're going to put this corner here into that corner and you start at the top and sort of slide it down so I know that next time I stamp this when I butt it up to there, it will fit. So I'm going to position my wording where I want it to go, which is about there. Bring in my T-bar, remove my imaging sheet. Let's check I've got it the right way up. And when I stamp down, it's now in the absolute perfect place, leaving me room at the top because I want to put a strip of these beautiful pearls in and I want seven of them. I'm going to run those along there. And I'm just going to put some snail, not I'm not going to put snail at all, I'm going to put fast fuse on but along the bottom half because obviously we do need to still keep part of that open that over there that's the project done how cute what do you think i rather like it and easy to make with them um, with the envelope punch board so thank you very much for joining me i hope to speak to you soon bye